and the life game Let me tell you that I'm a good player If it's not a love game Tell me so what the kind of game you play Do you wanna play with my heart? Do you wanna play with my heart? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well today i am doing perfectly fine and if it's your first time passing by you are very welcome to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any video i post so without further ado let's get started as you saw in the title i'm gonna end up a story time that i've started already so if it's your first time uh on my youtube channel you might have to go to that uh, that uh, video. That's the first part of the story time. I'm just gonna put the link in the description box so you can click on it. It will be best for you to do that so that you will understand what really happened. So I refused a proposal part two. <laughs> a lot of you guys sent me messages on my Instagram, on my Snapchat. I would love you guys to comment. Don't. Don't worry i don't mind comments um don't be afraid to comment i really love that everybody came like a lot of people came to ask me like how i feel about it what really happened some some people even gave me um good advices so i'm down for comments i'm down for your opinion don't be afraid to write them in the comment section so i'm just gonna start straight straight to the point if you see my my previous video i was saying that i find out so many stupid stuff that he did and the reason why i say that is because one of my friend called me after i said no so she called me and she was asking about him because obviously she knew we had something whatever and uh, she told me something that shocked me. And I know y'all want to know. Don't worry, I got y'all. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm spilling the tea. Turns out that my future husband was cheating the whole entire time. I mean, when I say cheating, it's like he, he was with somebody. Why being with me? So why would you marry me if you already have a relationship? Like... I was shocked because he is a really loving person and you would never think that he's cheating you would never guess literally I was sh like I was like whoa now guys just take a second we're just gonna take a second right now and think about me being married and finding out why I'm already married I would have probably freaked out because I would be like First of all, Clara, you was doubting it. And the fact that you was doubting it, it was like your heart telling you not to do it, but you did it anyway, because you, you're stubborn or whatever, because you really didn't want to hurt his feelings. So eventually I confronted him. I called him and I was like, now what is this story? Like, is it true or isn't? Like, tell me it's a joke. Please tell me it's a joke, guy. Like, guys, I was literally telling him, like, you have to tell me it's a joke because if it's not a joke, now I'm not the bad person. You are the bad person because guess what? I refused your proposal. That was not cool. But meanwhile, you was having somebody else on my back. You was cheating, like, literally cheating. So you want to marry a woman and then you're cheating. What the hell is wrong? Like, tell me. And I was like, I was relieved and shocked and a little bit disappointed, just a little bit. At the end of the day, we're not together anymore, so he can do whatever he feel like doing. I don't care. I don't mind his life. He can do whatever. So I was kind of shocked. I was like, okay, what if I was like, please, I want you guys to comment down below and tell me how would you like handle this type of situation? um like would you just cut off the person or would you want explanation because i went like because i asked him what happened i really wanted to know because i was like was you trying to get out of this relationship by marrying me or would you like marry me and still be in that relationship and cheat i don't know whatever tell me what's the tea 
he couldn't even like he could barely say things he was like he could barely tell me what was up he was like um you know i love you at the end of the day you're the woman i love whatever you're not answering my question why would like why were you into relationship and proposed to one god i don't even know probably you proposed to the other girl how would i know that i don't know so i was like shocked but then I was like, I'm not going to judge him. I'm not going to make him feel bad because I already said no anyway. So anyway, <laughs> so I felt like, okay, um, I saved myself, period. I saved myself and I'm happy about it. But guys, that's not the end because guess who, guess what, what's wrong with him? He's calling over and over again. He's texting over and over again. And I don't know how to, like, I don't want to, I don't want to be rude. I don't want to hurt his feelings. So I'm not saying anything, like, to hurt his feelings. Because at the end of the day, we had something and he isn't a bad person. I always feel like even when somebody did something wrong, it doesn't mean that the person is bad because we all make mistakes. Who am I to judge? I am not perfect. So I just want him to go without like any like argue or like I don't want to argue. Like I really don't want to argue with him. I just want him to leave me alone. He won't leave me alone. He texts me every day. Uh, he um, try to call me when he can, whatever. I don't answer anyway, but I really feel like I need him to let me go because I have let him go, but I feel like he hasn't like let me go yet. And um, what would you guys do in that situation? Would you like um, be rude or would you like answer? Cause me, I'm the queen of not answering when I don't want to talk to somebody. Literally we can have like, I would not answer. Like you can insult me, you can, um, be rude to me or you can be whatever you whatever you're gonna text me i'm not gonna answer if i don't want to talk to you it doesn't matter and i really don't want to talk to him so i'm not answering i just want you guys to tell me like in the comment section what would you do would you block him because i didn't block him would you answer and tell him to leave you the f alone whatever tell me in the comment section what you do and I didn't want this um, video to be long. Thank you so much, guys, for watching it. For those who really wanted um, the end of the story, that is it. We're currently not talking to each other because I just feel like I don't want to give him um, big hopes. So yeah, um, that is that. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my video. If you enjoyed the story time, please give me a big, big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye. In the life game, let me tell you that I'm a good player.